Hi, 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 and welcome to my stream and scream. Must be missing something. Sponge is definitely not useful. There must be some kind of machinations that I could break. Maybe? I don't know. I guess we could go deal with the beast on East Street. Try something on him. And then I could use the trowel. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I definitely need to find batteries. I wonder where there are batteries. Oh! I bet you there's batteries in the remote control. Durr. Fast forward, mute, stop, nothing seems to work. Um, screwdriver. Let's try and open the case. You pick it out a bit. Oh, it doesn't do much good. Damn! Oh, did you bring enough chicken and cheese for the class? Alright, let's go find the beast for me, Street. He probably needs to be taken out with something that I got from that box, the same way that I dealt with the bunny and such. You feel like you're being watched. You glance around and can't see anyone, but there's cert but you're certain there's someone out there. Huh. Hmm. All right, a very large creature has appeared in the clearing. It seems to be grinning as it rubs its front paws together excitedly. Um. <laughs> Thank you for bringing enough chicken for the whole class. Uh, let's see. We could give him the purple peanut butter, maybe. Let's do a quick save. I don't want to die out here. Here, have some purple peanut butter. Okay. All right, he doesn't uh, doesn't like that apparently. Hmm. What did we get from there? We've got a book which we've already tried using on him. Uh, try the shrunken head. You hold out the shrunken head with trembling hands. The beast falls to a knee and bows its head, submitting. Impressive loot. May not realize you're such high level. It backs away nervously. Maybe we play again someday. The hulking brute shuffles backwards, facing you, until he reaches a safe distance. Then he bounds off into the trees. The shovel slides easily into the dirt. After three scoops, you uncover something. Is it batteries? It's a key card, huh? You think it's some kind of badge. Town Center Galleria is written across it. Well, that's not helpful. Check the security badge into your bag. So this was a waste of time detour. Damn it. So you reach the tunnel, the sound of splashing footsteps freezes you in place. Who's there? You don't see anyone. Maybe the rabbit came back? Yeah. Maybe the rabbit came back. Hmm? One ghost remains. I know what he needs. I just don't know how to get him what he needs. Where would I find batteries? Not in the remote control. Hmm. Maybe I can use this remote control on the cassette player now. Transfer batteries. Nope. Hmm. So much shit in my inventory. I don't even know if I need all this shit. <laughs> I wonder if it just lets you pick up whatever you want. <laughs> Parents nightstand? Well, where's my parents' room? Do you know? Stairs. House plant. Portraits. It was the master bedroom, which is being, I think, held closed by the kid. Hmm. 
Study feels set apart from the rest of the house. Everything's being made. Oh, that's right. I never did figure out the password. Hmm. Oh god, the battery's getting really low on my phone. I wonder if when it runs out I, like, lose or something? I'm taking too many turns?! Let's try and use the screwdriver on this thing and see if we can pop the batteries out. Oh, uh, nope. Shit. Maybe I should just try and use the screwdriver on the robot. Think? I still have the robot adversary. Let's do a quick save. Nope, that just bounced off. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Maybe we use the T-Rex on it. Maybe it'll be intimidated by the dinosaur. Use toy logic, right? I have a robot eating T-Rex! Nope. That didn't work. Oh, you think the bottle is for gargoyle saliva? Maybe. That's a thing, yeah. Makes sense that the books would say that. Let's go ahead and try that. Maybe I can turn the robot into stone. You never know, right? Alright, use this on the gargoyles. Can't see much reason. Nope. So much for that idea. So, it turns things into stone. Do I need anything turned into stone? Hmm, nothing that I see. I can't imagine any of this needing to be used to turn to stone. This reminds me of uh, Maniac Mansion a little. You squeeze the sponge, holding it as far away from you as possible. A bit of water seeps between your fingers. You win this time, sponge. Hmm, nope. That doesn't seem to have actually done anything. Hmm. Maybe I need to use the bottle to... The monster blood, right? I mean, that's possible. Hmm. Let's go down to the kitchen and check for if I can capture some monster blood. I'm sorry, I'm looking for batteries, I swear I am. Uh, kitchen's this way. Okay. Maybe... Hmm, no. Let me try and save real quick. Oh, nope. There goes that theory. Hmm. Thought maybe I could get monster blood somehow out of that. I think there's actually another pipe upstairs, isn't there? In the the room with the um Yeah, with like the moving room. Wasn't there a pipe in there? Maybe the monster blood will stop that from moving. Yeah, there is. Pipe is the only notable feature in this room. There are several rusted areas. It's seen better day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe monster blood out of here? It doesn't take much. The pipes burst open and gobs of gross goop gush out. Nice! Oh, not nice. Not nice at all? The oozing mass is pushing its way to the edges of the room. Um, maybe I didn't think this through. Okay, that was not the best of plans, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's, um... Hmm. Let's get Monster Blood. I have the right idea, I just don't... Place the stepladder there. 
open this. Pull down. Oh no! Okay. Hmm. Alright, so the monster blood will stop. So let's go ahead and use that. And then I get two turns before the monster blood comes after me. So let's use the monster blood. Hmm. Oh shit! No! I wasted a turn. Alright, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Hoping this will slide over the hatch. Pull down the ladder. Climb. Ah, uh, no! I thought the monster blood might hold open the the room, you know? Damn it. Hmm. Hum le hum le hum. Maybe I took too many turns. Let's put that there. Then let's burst the pipe. Open the attic. Pull down the ladder. And climb. No! Alright, so it's not a matter of turns then. Damn. Hmm. Well, we've learned something new. We can get access to monster blood if we need it. Maybe there's a way to freeze or congeal the blood to hold everything open. Well, I don't know what I would do to freeze it. Maybe the purple peanut butter will freeze it in place? I could always call my mom. Okay, that's not really helpful. Thanks, Mom. Maybe I can call Mom in the shrinking room. Be like, hey, Mom! What the fuck's up with this room? <laughs> I mean, defeating the robot by pushing it open. Where is the action? Huh. Oil or whatever to make it slip, but... Oh, my boss is... Coming, I gotta go. Do I have oil? Anything even remotely oily? Got peanut butter and jam. Got dish soap. That's slippery, right? Mom! Oh, shit. You just get to charge all your electronics. We had to use batteries, and they'd run out, and we didn't have time to go to the store. So we have to open something else, take those batteries out. It was an endless cycle. Ah, oh, never mind, dear. Bye. So I have the right idea about opening up the remote control for the batteries, but I don't know how to open it. Okay. I'm gonna get squished in here, but I'm gonna call mom again. Huh? Oh, the battery's too low to do that. What? Damn it, mom. I wanna see if the... Oh yeah, I didn't reset. Huh? Alright, I'll just open it and get squished. There we go. Okay. Whoa. It's oh no. Oh no. All right. So let's um. I guess we'll die again. All right. Let's load instead. 
Okay. So we need to figure out a way to make the robot slip. We don't have any oil that we know of. Pretty sure I grabbed everything useful. Was there oil maybe in the basement? A <laughs> banana peel. Where am I going to find a banana peel? Let's do a quick save. Alright, let's try and make it sleep, uh, slip with the dish soap. You empty the bottle on the soap. It attempts to walk towards you, but the soap proves too much! It swings his arms and legs rapidly, trying to regain his footing, and falls flat on its mechanical face. Fuck you, robot. If the robot seemed angry before, it's furious now. Fortunately, he can't even see you. It's too slippery for him to stand back up. There's a panel on his back, though. Yes! Alright, so I did have the right idea. I'll just take these, if you don't mind. You imagine it would be comfortable to just dive right in and fall asleep. I don't think so. There are a lot of very sharp toys amongst all this. Like landing on this R2-D2 look-alike. <laughs> Alright, so we got batteries. Let's use the batteries on the Walkman. Let's go back to the... Um, I think down was the basement? Yeah. Back to the basement, up to the stairs. Here, little boy, who is probably holding closed that other room. Some... Wow, he was like, I just want to hear some hold music. That's your reason for not moving on? <laughs> the boy smiles, swaying back and forth to the rhythm. Bye, boy! He vanishes, his presence bounding away from the house. A door directly above you unlocks with a loud thunk. Okay. So let's go back up to... I think that unlocks the master bedroom. Yep. Now we know where the parents sleep, by the way. Wow. It's an overwhelmingly creepy twist on your parents' bedroom. <laughs> Two crossed swords hang from the wall. Now we're talking. <laughs> you attempt to pull the walls off the the swords off the wall, but they won't budge. What a shame. They'd make today a lot easier. They're the biggest, comfiest pillows you've seen in a while, which means they're probably slobbering monsters of some kind. That seems pretty accurate. Usually it's your parents' bed. Right now, you're not so sure. It's best to assume the normal rules apply. No jumping. Let's go ahead and save. It's a big trunk of valuables, you assume. You've never actually seen inside of it. Well, today's your lucky day, narrator. You kneel down and locate the chest combination lock. Combination lock? What's the correct code for it? Try sleeping. You lie down, hoping to find the comfortable grooves you're accustomed to. They're not there. This bed is seriously uncomfortable. The artwork on the wall is different. The signature says Claude Moaning. Hmm. As opposed to Claude Monet, I guess, is the pun that they're trying to give there. You stare at the rug, hoping for answers. None are forthcoming. It's a nice rug, though. <laughs> the large window is most striking element of the room. Mom loves to open it in the humid summer nights. You undo the latch and swing the window open. Oh! A grotesque, twisted stone statue in the shape of a monster. There's slime dripping from its fangs. As you turn away, you swear it moves. Well, maybe you were right about that bottle after all. We just weren't in the right place. You hold out the empty container, making sure to catch several bloody drops of the substance as it runs off the gargoyle's mouth. Alright, so here's what we do. We put this in the monster blood. That'll turn it into stone, and that'll hold everything open. Hmm, I'm going to do a quick save. And I'm going to knock on it. You make a fist and give the gargoyle a few hard knocks. That hurt. Alright. Bye, gargoyle. You used to hide in your parents' closet as a kid when you got scared. 
Today you're more afraid of what might be lurking in it. So you approach the closet, it slides open on its own. The closet draws you in. You can't be sure if you pass through the door of the closet surrounded you. Okay, so we need to go... Actually, we just need to go back out where we came from. Which is probably to the right now, huh? Yep. Alright, so I'm guessing we probably need to get up into the attic. All right, so let's get the monster blood out. Yay. Use the saliva on the monster blood. The spots the gargoyle saliva touch solidify, hardening into gray stone. The effects spread until the entire floor is covered in petrified sludge. Perfect. You place the step ladder, open the attic, pull down the ladder, and climb inside. Yay! Whoa. The attic is about as spooky as you'd expect. Dirt, grime, cobwebs, and a big ornate mirror. I vaguely remember this goosebumps. It was something about a reflection that actually wanted to come into the real world and take over someone. It's the most expensive mirror you've ever seen. The frame is extremely ornate and metal. Iron, maybe? The image has a depth to it you've never experienced. I'm gonna use the mirror on the mirror! You spin to face the reflection, holding out the hand mirror you've been carrying. The image shudders, and a crack explodes across the glass. A faceless voice screams. The mirror shatters, and everything falls silent. What's that? It's a Goosebumps story called Let's Get Invisible. You used to read Goosebumps all the time when you were a kid. Hey, how did it know? <laughs> of course, you knew that dummy on TV looked familiar. It was Slappy, the evil ventriloquist dummy. Let's take it. You pick up the children's horror novella and notice the, Arthur, the, Arthurs, the author's name, R.L. Stein. If only you had a way to get a hold of him somehow, maybe he'd know what to do. If his Goosebumps monsters are real, everyone's in a lot of trouble. You'd better get to the mall. And yes, that is a uh, that is the thing. It's um, it would make you invisible. But if it, uh, the twist at the end of it was that uh, your reflection or something ended up replacing you. Yep, fourth wall totally got broken. The floorboards are covered in layers upon layers of dirt. You sift through the boxes, giving each a cursory glance. Nothing jumps out at you. Floorboards are covered in layers upon layers of dust. Let's, um... Ooh, a pinata! <laughs> no thanks. If you're desperate for candy, there are plenty of other options. Cavity City comes to mind. That is a great name for it. Colorful remains of a pinata light lay broken in the corner. The spider that made these must be enormous! You hope he's still not around. Hmm, it's a bike. Mom's old exercise bike. She put it together herself, and that was enough of a workout for her. It's been here ever since. <laughs> nice. Shadow remains of your least favorite mirror. Hope you guys aren't disappointed I didn't die to the mirror. Yearbooks. A stack of mom and dad's old yearbooks. They were high school sweethearts, so these probably have a lot of sentimental value. As far as you're concerned, each one is just a book of memories you have no interest in. Mom and dad would probably be sad if they knew you felt that way. Aww. You make one big leak, slamming your feet back down on the floor. The dust explodes upwards into your eyes, nose, and mouth. Alright. So let's just go back downstairs. I, gu I guess I didn't miss anything. What was that? <laughs> okay! What? You slam directly into your brother as you leap down the stairs. He barely seems to notice. Hey, Rue, glad you're here! You see all this crazy stuff going on? Uh, how's Mom? Have you heard from Mom at all? No, I haven't. It's actually why I rushed home. You're not gonna like this, Rue. Mom and Dad? Well, okay, there's no easy way to say this. 
What? Why is this an option? Are they monsters? Mom and dad were replaced by monsters, weren't they? No? Of course not. They're liars, that's what they are, right from the beginning. I'm not even their son! Chad's theory sounds more ridiculous than yours. As soon as mom gets home, I'm throwing this in her face, but I need your help first. Go to the master bedroom, track down my birth certificate. I think it's in that big trunk. Um, sure, but I want a favor. All these monsters, I know who's responsible and he's at the mall. You've got to help me stop him before things get even worse. Sounds like we have a deal then. You get the birth certificate, so my fingerprints are nowhere to be seen. Uh, and I'll drive you to the mall afterwards. Good. Remember, the certificate upstairs in Mom and Dad's room is in a trunk. The code is 1992. Right. Don't forget. All right. Your brother Chad, he has a wild theory about his upbringing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be putting this up on YouTube later. Give me that thumbs up on YouTube if you enjoyed it. It really does help the channel get discovered and bring in more into our lovely family. Besides, don't you guys want younger brothers to pick on? <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for keeping me company. Alright. Bye, bye, bye. Uh. Oh, go away! Please go away! <laughs>